let us uh, in this video understand borehole latrine basically this is uh, a method of uh, disposal of excreta human waste okay so basically uh, it's a toilet right latrine means what it's a toilet so basically you can understand by this diagram here you can see that there is a toilet right where the people go so you can see these two white things are the place to keep the leg okay and they squat over it and any excreta gets deposited in this borehole right so there are some dimensions of this also here you can see so it is uh, the depth is 20 feet they are showing 20 feet and uh, the width they are showing is or the diameter they are showing is 16 inch not sure why that is an inch and this one is in feet anyways so you have understood what borehole latrine is isn't it so let's read about it now so basically in unsevered areas okay where there is no sanity uh, you know uh, sewage system etc there are a lot of types of uh, latrines so you should understand that in unsevered area this borehole latrine will be there so unsevered areas and severed areas severed area uh, there there is this different system for water carriage system and sewage so let us look at uh, basically unsevered areas in this where we are you know there are so many types let us see this so basically you have the non-service type you have the service type the non-service type and then you have the latrines suitable for camps and temporary use this is where we have the borehole latrine which we are discussing today okay so are you able to understand this so in unsevered areas you have the latrine suitable for camps and temporary use so they are saying it is only for temporary use there you have the borehole latrine okay so basically guys did you understand that it is a temporary usage only okay so this uh, borehole latrine is uh, apparently very important in in our country it's the forerunner for non-service type of latrines it was first introduced in 1930 okay by the rockefeller foundation to avoid uh, hookworm infestation okay so basically borehole latrine this is actually a model photo wait so this diagram should be more clear right this is actually a, a representation spotter model this is okay so here actually from top if you see this top view we have not put here you can see that white part here that is to keep the leg okay so from top view photo we don't have anyway so basically you have understood so uh, this is the it was introduced in 1930 by whom by Rockefeller Foundation, okay, why? For hookworm control. So, if you remember, we already have a video on Rockefeller Foundation. Look at this, if you remember. So, Rockefeller Foundation video we already have made, right? So, basically, borehole latrine is one of the things that they gave, right? To control hookworm infestation. Fine. So, hookworm control. The latrine contains of a circular hole in uh, which is uh, around uh, 16 inch in diameter maximum. Okay, and uh, the it is dug vertically into the ground to a depth of 26 feet. So, they are saying it can be up to 26 feet of depth. And what is the diameter? Up to 16 inch of diameter. Okay. Commonly, they are saying it is um, around 20 feet. So, that is what they have shown in this diagram commonly it is up to 20 feet so they use a equipment guys called as auger a u g e r to dig this borehole okay this is a specific equipment that they use so that looks something like this to dig okay vertically then in loose and sandy soils the hole is lined with bamboo matting or earthenware rings to prevent caving in of the soil so you should be very careful but because people are sitting on this right they are sitting on this huge hole so people should not fall into it the soil should not the soil should not cave in so what they use they use bamboo rings okay um, bamboo matting sorry bamboo matting or earthenware rings so that people don't uh, the, uh, the soil doesn't cave in so what rings are they using they are using earthenware rings and or they can use bamboo matting 
okay i'm thinking bamboo matting means something like this bamboo matting they can use so that the soil doesn't cave in especially in loose and sandy soils okay now the concrete squatting plate so what is there on top on top there is a concrete you can see here concrete concrete squatting plate right with a central opening you can see that central opening here the foot rests are placed over the hole so you can see the foot rests in white they are placed over the hole if you are not able to see in this uh, photo at least in this photo you should be able to see are you able to see the foot rests right guys in white okay okay so then uh, so the person will sit in such a way like his legs will be like this okay and the feces will go here okay <clears throat> now where are we a suitable enclosure is put up to provide privacy yeah you can see the enclosure here a beautiful enclosure to pro uh, give provide privacy for a family of 5 to 6 people a bore hole of above description serves well over a year wow this works for a whole year for a family of 5 people let us say bore hole is essentially a family type of installation and is not recommended as a public convenience because of its small capacity so it has small capacity but for one year it will run nice na when the contents of the bore hole reach, reach within 50 cm of the ground level so if this is the ground level and if the contents reach within 20 in wait let us try to understand here <clears throat> once they will put in centimeter once they will put in inch once they will put in feet okay so if 16 inch is the width they are saying somewhere this much distance from the above right 20 inch so this the, let us say this is the limit when it fills till here the contents of the bore hole when it reaches within 50 cm that is 20 inch of the ground level the squatting plate is removed and the hole is closed with earth so they will remove this no more this will be the toilet over this place they will cover it with earth that means mud right then what they'll do or actually i think before they fill this that's what they should have told before they it has uh, fill this they will create another toilet here right so that people will can start using right so here they will dig a hole like this this will be a bore well right bore well latrine and they will shift probably this entire thing here so they will start using this then they will close this with earth right because they need a toilet now till they close this and build a new one then where will people go so obviously first they have to build the new one okay then the night soil what is this night soil the night soil undergoes purification by anaerobic digestion and is eventually converted into harmless mass so whatever is there here is converted into harmless mass because of anaerobic digestion there's no air here obviously they have covered it so this will undergo anaerobic digestion it will be converted into a harmless mass The amount of sludge that accumulates has been estimated to amount to 2.1 to 7.3 cubic feet per thousand user days. If you want, you can know that information. Something about the sludge. Okay. What are the merits? Now let us look at the merits of a bore well latrine. Okay. So bore well latrine. What is it? You can you saw here latrine suitable for camps, temporary use, also for a family of five. But I'm guessing they should have the uh, authority to make a bore hole latrine. probably if it's their own field or something they can do in the city nobody will give us permission to do all this right okay so what do you think the advantages of this borehole latrine is so basically the advantage of borehole latrine is that there is no need for services of sweeper for daily removal of night soil so no need to remove the night soil every day so no need of any such services the pit is dark and unsuitable for fly breeding so the pit will not allow breeding of flies and uh, it should be located 15 meter away from water supply so there should be no danger of water pollution so wherever this dug uh, this uh, bore hole latrine is this bore hole latrine so wherever this is the water supply should be 15 meter that is 50 feet from there the water supply should be there okay there should be no water pollution in spite of these merits the bore hole latrines are not considered very suitable type of latrine today because but did they start off this entire uh, topic by saying that these are common and these are initially in this they said it's the forerunner of non service types of latrines in this country interesting these people why don't they write the textbook properly okay so basically now they are saying that uh, in spite of its merits uh, there are some demerits what are the demerits let us look at so basically they are saying that the borehole fills up rapidly because of its small capacity so it has small capacity 
a special equipment the auger is required for the construction which may not be available <clears throat> in many uh, places the subsoil water is high and loose the soil will be loose so it will be difficult to dig a deeper hole more than 3 meter so then they are saying that the borehole latrine is therefore not very much used today it has been superseded by better innovations okay so that is what the textbook says guys so if you want to look at other options of latrines they are here so you have the service type latrines right where they have to collect every night they are collecting the night soil something night soil is collected something that is service type somebody human has to do this that sounds kind of so bad actually anyways non service type you have this borehole latrine just now you said that uh, read that there is no need of night soil to be removed so it will become a non service type sanitary latrine and so suitable for camps in temporary use you already saw the saw the borehole latrine right so that's about borehole latrine if you are looking for options other than borehole latrine you will have to look at dug well pit latrine water seal type of latrine this is the one that we have in our homes right this is the latrine that we have like all the western commodes the indian commode everything they will be the water seal type okay then you have the pry type rca type sulab saucharya shaucharya sulab saucharya septic tank aqua privy that sounds kind of cute na the name aqua privy okay guys so uh, in latrine suitable for camps and temporary use you have shallow trench latrine deep trench latrine pit latrine again pit latrine is coming here also see pit latrine was there here also so basically you will have to learn about all these latrines one by one for now you have learned what bore well latrine you bore a nice hole into the earth 20 feet okay which is 16 inch by width and then uh, build a kind of a toilet over it and make sure that the soil will not cave in put a lot of bamboo and all that and uh, some uh, some rings also they will put what rings earthen what was that earthen wear ring okay so put all that and make sure that it is strong and it will not collapse then concrete they will put here they will put some footrest and etc and they'll put some uh, shelter for privacy so that is about bore hole latrine that's all for now bye bye